Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Hey Scotty, thanks for the chance to let me show off my 1996 Ford Bronco. Let me show you around. So when this Bronco was new in 1996, it was a government vehicle driven by an OSHA inspector. And I'd say that OSHA inspector is probably the coolest guy on the job site. The biggest modification I've made to my truck is a six inch suspension lift and some 35 inch Mickey Thompson tires. I also installed some worn locking hubs. So here's a picture of my Bronco words when I first got it. I've spent countless hours on it to get it to where I want it to be. I did paint the top because of all the exposed fiberglass, but the body paint is all original, and as you can see, it is pristine. The engine is a stock Windsor 351 V8, and behind that is a E4OD four-speed automatic transmission. I designed and fabricated this rear bumper. It's got reverse lights, D-rings, trailer hitch, and a full-size 35-inch tire that is on a swivel, which I can open up. And once you open this up, locks right there. And then you can come over here and with the key, you can roll down the rear window. And reach in here, grab the handle, and the tailgate is assisted, that is so it doesn't break the glass window that's on the inside. And in this cargo area, you have two pockets. I added a light switch here, and that turns on some LEDs that'll light up this rear area for when I take the rear seat out and put a bed back here for camping. So this Bronco is full of many modern amenities. You have a AM, FM radio, no cassette, no CD, simpler. I have AC, blows cold. You have crank windows, manual locks, wing windows, that's luxury. And if you and your friends are on the cigarettes hard, you have three ashtrays. And down here, I put a switch which turns on some lights. And this being a 96, it's the only year of the Bronco with OBD2. And of course, I have the CB for talking on the trails. Something I'm not too happy about is the center console. I had to add this divider here because anything you put in here slides forward and doesn't allow you to put your beverage into the cup holder. I also don't like this pocket because if you put stuff in there and close it, it just falls out. I wired up a switch and two 12 inch light bars. They are phenomenal. Future plans for this truck are to do a solid axle and a manual swap. If you want updates on that, you can follow my Instagram at CCC4x4. Thanks for watching. Well, that was this week's video, and to have your car mod shown on my channel here, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.